Hi. I know, I know. The new year, it comes and goes, we all make the resolutions. And it's just a number, right? Um, it's never too late to start or it's never a correct time to start or stop something. But this is just a video of me ranting about how my year 2022 went. And yeah, let me know how yours went. Um, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sapna. I hope you enjoy my video while I am doing what I love doing in my days off while I rant about 2022. Bye. Dear diary, I wanted to reflect on 2022 and how it went. So in December 2021, I really started with trying to put everything together, put my life together in general. It looks like in January, I achieved so much of a routine, you know. Try to stick to your new resolution in the beginning. Started going to the gym every day, but then I got COVID. I could not go anywhere for a week and I stopped going to the gym altogether. After that, in February, I bought a program thinking that I will do it myself according to the online instructions and I'll build my body but I had a lot of stress because I was getting married so I took that as an excuse to not doing anything else other than planning for the marriage I want to organize as good as possible and yeah <laughs> in April we went for I went for vacation for two months and I really appreciate and that time off my work gave after the vacation I got time to rethink my life and that changed everything in 2022 I started to embrace the fact that at least I can choose to say that I don't like certain things although it's not straight to the face I have started to accept that it's not okay for my mental health and myself when I really don't like certain things. A lot of things have changed mentally, although I haven't been sticking to my habits. I'm not doing yoga, not exercising, not meditating regularly. I really started to embrace myself. I used to blame myself for everything. I would always say things to myself like, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? You are a very bad person. I used to do all the negative self-talk, but I have realized that that doesn't lead me to anything. I was just trashing my mindset. So that made me think, what could be a better way to love myself, but also do something good for myself or be disciplined and achieve something in the process of it, if not all. I wanted to be a very successful person. As you know, I don't want to be overly rich or anything of that sort. I just want to be the best version of myself. One thing I'm really proud of this year is I read a lot of books. It seems like my growth or the change in me had started happening after the vacation, which was almost halfway through the year once all the stress of marriage was over then i started realizing what is my focus in life firstly i was not happy with where i was working so i, I looked for a new job i went on a work assignment which i really enjoyed i wanted to do more of it in future and Above all, realizing that I can quit easily and then start somewhere fresh. 
although it requires some effort it's worth trying i'm still in the process of figuring it out what kind of passion or what area i will want to work for the next few years i think it will be something related to nursing but i'm not 100 percent sure i followed few diets this year like mediterranean diet gluten-free diet etc where i was eating very less carbohydrates and mostly protein and greens i did that for a month or two but made me feel like i'm really missing out on good food then after two months i got started to crave sweets and sugar then i stopped all the diet i ate whatever i like and that made me feel better sometimes we do some restrictive things to become healthy some people can do it and hats off to that level of self-control but hey i can't do that i have realized that i need to have some treats now and again i need a day or two of break to stay sane because i think the process for change is not a quick fix just imagine you have been on the diet of whatever you are eating for 30 odd years how can you change it in two months i learned that i need to take it slow so that i don't utterly fail take one step at a time and see how i go so instead of going full-on mediterranean diet 100 percent i'd rather go 20 percent to begin with and then increase it by 30 percent every week or month by month so as you all know i'm still studying a part-time degree the starting of the year was studying for the namesake and i do not feel proud of myself for doing that gradually towards the end of the year when i stopped giving negative criticism to myself i found my own pace i achieved greater results i could do more in less time i didn't have to pull an all-nighter to submit an assignment and that to me is a huge progress i'm still trying to stick to that routine and i'm struggling at the moment i feel really good when i stick to that routine last month but i'm sleeping away now i have realized that getting enough sleep is the most important thing for having better next day that's the whole sum of this year i would say this year has been really important for exploring my own thoughts knowing how my brain works observing what my thoughts are and how i can differentiate my own thoughts it's really fascinating to become an observer of your own thoughts although i think i got to better in terms of exercise preparing assignments and i'm still learning myself i learned that what i do what i think of myself is not who i am how much money i make how many friends i have how i dress how many things i own what others say about me does not define me i am much more than that i'm better today then I was a yesterday. Six-year-old me would be very proud of the present me and I'm constantly growing. I can feel it. That's what matters the most. So yeah. Um that's it. Thank you. I hope you have a lovely new year and thank you so much for coming to my channel. Um well that's how I'm my day. <laughs>